Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher. We've got an awesome event coming up in a couple of weeks that you're going to want to be part of if you talk about investing in yourself. And I don't necessarily mean putting money in the bank or go out and getting a job, but it's truly investing in yourself. And Councilwoman Angela Williams, uh, Super Ward 7, got to say that. <laughs> That's uh, right. You set up a meeting. I kind of innocently walked in and you were sharing a story as to why you want to get this going. But tell me, what is this that we're talking about? Well, what we're talking about is a higher education or post-secondary education um, fair for adult learners, individuals who are adults working and want to go back to school and further their education. We're not talking about a job bank. Nope. We're not talking about bringing your resume. Nope. We're not talking about interviewing. Nope. We're talking about investing in yourself. Absolutely. This is personal for you, though, isn't it? It is. It's a little personal for me. I um, recently went back to school to finish my degree at Old Dominion, and I posted it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And someone said to another friend of mine who's not on Facebook that maybe given my status, I should keep that to myself. So I thought maybe I'd just tell the world and <laughs> gotcha. help a couple of other people along the way. <laughs> it is so cool. Now, you're close, because I follow it on Facebook. You're close to I am. graduating. You got the date down and everything. December 14th, I'm going to march if they have to drag me across the state. <laughs> how, many, how many more hours do you have? Um, I'm taking three classes this summer. It's in summer six school. Weeks. You're supposed to slide. No, 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 no. Three classes, six weeks this summer, and then four classes in the fall, and I'm done. Wow. Done. Okay. You, your family was educated. Yes. And so you got through high school. Mm -hmm. Then what? And then I decided to get married. Oh. Great idea. I think it was a good idea. <laughs> okay, so that kind of... And that put, you know, school, I, I got married, moved, was gone for a little bit, and then came back, and then I just, you know, hit the working world, and, mm -hmm. I, and I worked, and I realized after a while And you that, were doing okay. I and mean... I, I really was. I was doing okay, and I, but I realized after a while that if I didn't go back to school, that there would always be some kind of glass ceiling that I would never, I'd get to a point where I just couldn't go any further. And the reason I couldn't go any further was because I wasn't qualified on paper. Wow. I, I remember having conversations with people who were, were in a position, they were making pretty good money, mm -hmm. no benefits, no future, mm -hmm. and no place to go. Mm -hmm. As long as they could live on th what they were making, they were going to be okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But the options are more available to you if you have that degree. Right Absolutely. There. Absolutely, there are certainly more options to individuals who have advanced degrees, um, whether it's a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a PhD. There are a lot of certifications now in specialty fields that pay just as much or more for individuals who have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. So what I wanted to do was create a place where adults could come and get all the information mm -hmm. that they needed in order to make an informed decision to go back to school and, and pursue the degree of their choice. I was going to say, because where do you start? <laughs> Well, you know, I think as an adult, you have um, an advantage over someone who's just out of high school. You have worked for a while, and you know your strengths and your weaknesses, so it's a little bit easier for you, perhaps, to, to pinpoint what you want to do. But some individuals are just terrified of the process, and so we want to take the fear out of it. We want to create a nice, warm environment where individuals can ask questions and get their questions answered, where we have all of the colleges universities, um, community colleges, because I graduated from Tidewater Community College. Um, some of the specialty schools are, are going to be there with, the, with certification information available. So we wanted to create that kind of environment where individuals could get information. We're also going to talk about um, financial aid because it costs. Oh, that's the big one. Oh, yeah. It costs money. I pay. <laughs> Wow. And it costs money, um, you know, for not just tuition, but for books and supplies and things of that nature. So we're doing two individual sessions on financial aid and, and we're doing a, another session on where do I start? How If I want to go back to school, where do I start? Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to do some um, infor an informational session on how to, on the upcoming fields. What If I want to go back now and I'm really not sure where I want to go, what's going to get me the best job in the future? Future. There we go. Because, I mean, ultimately, I think in today's economy, people are looking at an education to advance a career so they can get a, pay, a, a higher paycheck. I mean, that's, that's a direct return. Absolutely. There's still that person out there who might be looking just to kind of broaden their horizons and, mm -hmm. and knowledge base, and that can be done too. But it still comes with making that first step. 
Absolutely. It, it, that's always the case. It's about making that first step. Once you make up in your mind that that's what you want to do, then you have to make that first step. And so we're giving folks the opportunity to do that. Okay. Well, let me let me kind of talk turkey here. Okay. It's called investing yourself, not here's what we're going to do for you. <laughs> No, well, you know, we talked about financial aid and school. School costs. Mm -hmm. It costs money. And so it is an investment. And so one of the things that we want to make sure that people understand is there's not a quick fix. There's really not a quick fix to, you know, going back to school and, you know, just, I don't know, walking around, snapping your fingers and bam, poof. It, it all happens, of, yeah. Right. It doesn't happen like that. But I think that if you can set realistic expectations and understand the process, that's the first step to bettering your yourself and, and investing in yourself so that you can move forward. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot because I think between the time you uh, graduated from high school, did some life journeys, you had the excuses down pat for not going back, right? Um, One of them maybe know, not even thinking about it? Not really thinking about it and I had, I always had good jobs. I, you know, I was always blessed to so have it didn't really seem good relevant. jobs so it didn't seem relevant. But honestly, I just got tired of waiting for somebody to die or retire before I could get promoted. <laughs> so I decided I would go back to school. Now how did you decide what to go back for? Because, okay, you were in real estate by then, right? No, not by well, then. you hadn't gotten yet. I hadn't gotten into real estate. I wanted to do something, and I was always good at business. Okay. So I figured I'd go back and I'd get a business degree. And then I So you kind into, of did an evaluation of what you were good at. I did an evaluation. And how could you enhance it? Absolutely. I was, I've always been a people person. I've always loved people. So anything that deals with people, hands-on, one-on-one, that kind of thing, I've always been very good at. And so I started out as a finance major. I thought, Whoa. that sounds great. I can get a good job with that. And two plus two is equal four, two right? Two plus two is equal to four. I took one intro to finance class, and I <laughs> loved my fi my finance teacher. But I knew after that, that was not for me. And I changed my major to marketing, and I have loved it ever since. So okay. it worked out really well. And that's what I mean by being an adult. You get, You know what you're good at. When mm -hmm. you're an adult and you've worked in certain situations and you've had different jobs, you know what you're good at. At 30 years old, you pretty much know what works for you and what doesn't. So it makes it easier for you to um, make a career choice and then go back to school and then you learn more because I get so much out of my classes well, now. Okay, but finding time to take classes. Well, all kinds of schools, there are all kinds of schools that are going to be at our event. And there's everything from in-class class, in-class class in or classroom learning to online classes um, to hybrid, which is a, I'm taking a hybrid class this summer, which is a version of some in-class and some online. Okay. So there's all kinds of opportunities. All you really have to do is want to do it. If you really want to do it and you make it a priority, you'll do it. See, there you go and again, you're putting it on personal responsibility. Absolutely. And that's really what it's about. That is absolutely what it's about. I can give you the information. I can give you the financial aid forms. I can't give you the money, but I can give you the forms and I can give you the information. And after that, it's up to you. But there are, you know, you may not be able to, but if you're employed, some employers will have a, a tuition Absolutely. The city of Norfolk has a wonderful tuition right. reimbursement um, program thanks to our city manager. We brought that back. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of employers will pay for you to go to school. You have to earn a certain grade and they'll either reimburse it. Um, there are a lot of, it, we just got done with, um, what was it, an apprentice right. fair where companies will pay you for on-the-job learning. So there are lots of opportunities and there are scholarship opportunities for individuals who are adults going back to school. You just have to want to do it. So on June 22nd is scope from 9 to noon. Mm -hmm. Consider that the first step across the room. Consider that the first step headed towards the stage. There we go. Yep. Hey, the stage on December? <laughs> December 14th. What time? Do you know yet? I don't even know, but I'll probably nope. be there at like 6 in the morning. <laughs> wait until With that cap and gown. Okay, <laughs> got to pr start practicing this. I can't remember. Is it from it's, over here? I don't, know. I, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. On June 22nd. <laughs> At 9 o'clock at school. Thanks a lot Thank for bringing you. this to the city of Norfolk. Thank you and so to the much. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.